started? Yep. Okay. In this week's parsha, parsha Nuso, we read the section about the Nazir. The Nazir is a fellow who makes a vow to prohibit upon himself drinking wine and a prohib- prohibits upon himself cutting his hair and styling his hair. For a period of time, he has to go, no wine, no taking care of his hair. The basic explanation for this uh, Nazir is the following. As human beings, we generally have two main evil inclinations, negative character traits. There's something called taiva, the physical desires that sometimes can lead us astray, and taiva, arrogance, haughtiness, which can sometimes lead us astray. The Nazir, in an attempt to gain control over these negative forces, takes upon himself a vow. No wine, no physical enjoyment from wine, which, as we know, when a person gets too much of it, things can get out of a hand, they can get carried away with the pleasure of wine. And for a period of time, I'm not going to care how I look, even though that's going to require me to, as it were, nullify, diminish my ego and uh, my concern for how people are going to think about me. For this period of time, the Nazar prohibits these things to try to get control over these negative inclinations. At the end of this uh, incredible act, the Torah says that he has to bring an offering. What kind of offering? A sin offering. And Rashi's bothered. Why does he have to bring a sin offering? After all, didn't he just accomplish something great by holding back from these negative influences in his life? And Rashi explains he brings a sin offering because there was a sin involved. He caused himself pain by denying himself wine. We learn from here a very, very important lesson about physical pleasures. Physical pleasures, like wine in this world, are there for a reason. We're supposed to enjoy them and use them as tools to appreciate God. But what happens, and this Nazir, who prohibited himself from the wine, was doing something unideal, had to bring a sin offering. But wasn't he doing it for a good purpose? The answer is basically like this. Really, the Nazir is... A backup. Really, ideally, the person should have been in control of his desires in a way that he could use them in a productive and positive way. But sometimes, these inclinations that we have can sometimes get the better of us, and we lose control, and we don't have the ability to guide them in the proper way to serve Hashem. At that point, a person has to go with plan B, something along the lines and lessons of a Nazir. Take a period of time where he limits himself in these areas to gain control. And once a person gains control, he's then able to use these tendencies in a proper way. Like we said, the physical side of man and even we'll call the the ego of man, we're all given to people for reason. We're supposed to use our physical side to enjoy and appreciate Hashem. We're supposed to use this feeling of that we want to be great, not to be great over people, but to accomplish great things for the sake of Hashem. Hopefully, we should be able to learn how to use these two ideas in uh, proper service of Hashem.